All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the House of David. All right, so brothers, um, Brother Bakar and the Brother Haran. All right, and, um, you know, I want to go into something real quick again, you know, as you can see what's going on in the Middle East. All right, it's all prophecy unfolding. All right, it's happening very, very quickly. All right, now I believe it was yesterday, uh, the U.S. and the U.K. had bombed um, the Houthi rebels, all right? And uh, today, they're doing a follow-up, all right? Um, the title goes, it says, U.S. and U.K. strike Houthi sites in Yemen in response to unprecedented attacks, all right? Now, if you want to speak on that, you know, jump in. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I mean, basically, uh, like, like you were saying, they started the attack now, um, pretty much that's that's going to lead to a, a wider escalation. You know, I was listening to uh, some different news sites uh, concerning it earlier this morning, and a lot of them were saying that even in the UK, they didn't um, uh, consult, like, the parliament. They didn't assemble the, the members of parliament to decide whether to do this or not. They just, uh, I think the prime minister, something, uh, Sunak, it might have been Rishi, Rishi or so, yeah, he, uh, he just basically gave them the go-ahead. And when they asked him... <laughs> Every question that the, the uh, reporter asked him, he basically tapped as around it. And one of the questions that he asked him was, do you fear uh, escalation, you know, coming out of this? And basically, whenever they ask him that, they always say, oh, you know, we're doing this in uh, self-defense and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, now what you're seeing is what started off as a so-called um, uh, Israel-Hamas war has now shifted closer and closer to uh, Iran. Because they're saying, some are saying that the Houthis are allies with Iran. Some are saying that they're Iran-backed. The point is, Iran is involved in this. And Russia, at the UN, basically um, um, condemned this, this attack that the U.S. and the U.K. did. You know, they said it was like an unnecessary uh, provocation. Right. And the, Iran is also, you know, down with that too. Right. right. And, 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 you know, Iran, all right, they, they, they have their... Uh, they have their vendetta against America already, you know, going stemming prior to 2020, all right, because America has been trying very hard to stop the Iranians from, from developing um, um, missiles, yep. all right, and, and they're not trying to hit it, you know what I'm saying? So, like, the world stage, everyone is, set, is setting up uh, themselves to come against America, all right? When you look at the uh, the news, a lot of the, the, the headlines, they're all saying that, hey, is America equipped to face multiple countries in war at the same time mm. and the answer is no right all right you can't have all these powerful enemies all at the same time who have just one alone could destroy a whole entire country how much more three or four or five at a, at a time mm -hmm. you know you got you got the likes of um russia you got china all right you got north korea you got iran all right and then of course you're gonna have these um you uh, EU countries turn against America because of those foreign policies, man. Mm -hmm. You're also gonna have some the, some of them African nations that African are joining nations, in Turkey, right, right, right. Armenia, all of them, right? And they, oh, them them African nations are coming together against Israel. Mm -hmm. All right, they're saying that yo, we gotta bring you up to charges for war crimes. Mm -hmm. All right, you you you, you start shit, you know, and then in the name of self defense, well, self defense really is if you get attacked. Mm -hmm. So even the UK jumping in with Sunak saying that oh, you know, it's, it's a defense uh, strategy. First and they claim that uh, the ship, the UK ship, got was a part of the attack that the Houthis right, did. Right, But why is it there in the first place? Mm -hmm. And we remember, I remember saying this. I said, yo, you know what they always do? They'll send out a, a, these um, air carriers, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then the air carriers get hit, mm -hmm. and then it turns into a whole thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the, that's, what, that's what you're seeing now. All right? And this is all going to boil into actually World War Three becoming nuclear. The War of Armageddon. Or the War of Armageddon. Mm -hmm. All right? Which, uh, that's, that, uh... One precept that's like a go-to is uh, Zephaniah three and eight. That's it. You know, that's which it. the Lord said He was gonna His His determination it's is to, to gather, gather the nations, nations right. over there in that region, right, and to destroy them, and to destroy them. Yeah, that's right. Yep. You know, all for what? For Israel's sake. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're not talking about Israel as in the Israeli Palestine or the Zionism, whatever shit. We're talking about the twelve tribes of Israel, something that they never talk about. Right. Okay, because we're not talking about secular Israel. We're talking about religious, biblical Israelites. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this title says. Uh, U.S. and U.K. strike Houthi rep, uh, sites in Yemen in response to unprecedented attacks. Now, it's funny how this is all happening in Yemen because Yemen had to be, it, hap it just happened to be one of the countries that the U.S., by by the words of uh, General uh, Wesley Clark, all right, he said it, I believe this was back in 05, or, or yeah, 05, 
but he was saying that um, this was the, during the time of Bush. All right, he said that, hey, you know, one of the generals, he was passing by his, his door, and he's like, hey, hey, you're not busy, come on in. He said, hey, what's going on? What are they gonna say about this whole Iraqi situation? He said, oh, it's much worse. He said, listen, um, just got some word from up, up, uh, up top that, you know, these are the countries that we're gonna have to come up, come after, seven countries in five years. Why? Because of the petrol dollar. Okay, this is all, this, all this whole thing that's going on is all about um, uh, position of dominance in the next so-called world to come. That's what this is all about, okay? So he said, um, you had all these seven countries and the last one was gonna be Iran. But guess what? Lebanon was part of it. All right, Yemen was part of it. Okay, Iraq was part of it. Uh, Afghanistan. Libya, Afghan. No, no, no. Uh, Lib I believe Afghanistan might have been part of it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, um, Somalia. Okay, Egypt. All right. These countries are all countries that you've seen. You know, they've they've done uh, pretty much heavy damage to these countries. Okay. Now they're trying to go after Iran, which is going to only. Um, aid in Russia coming to to back up Iran. Yeah, because uh, according to biblical prophecy, Ezekiel 38, 38 that's right. it specifically tells you that Russia yep. is going to come against uh, um, each, uh, Israel as well. Yep. They're going to come over to that land like a cloud, and yep. they're going to basically, Wipe you know, do damage. Yeah. Yep. So yep. that that prophecy about the least of the flock drawing them out, you mm -hmm. can see that based on what started over there with Amalek, mm -hmm. now you're having more and more. You know, the the, the talk now is. Fears of escalation, of right. escalation. Right. Now, with this back and forth, because the Houthis, they're, 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 they basically have their own mindset, which is, they, you know, uh, one of the uh, reporters was saying, like, they want to be in the news. They want to be in the war. They want to be in the center of it. So for them, they're not worried about, you know, uh, uh, escalation or de-escalation. Right. They're saying, they yeah, they're saying, look, you, 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 whatever you do, we retaliate it. Because right. we know that. You can make a wrong move, and it's going to trigger a, a regional war, right, right, right. which will then turn into a world war. Right, 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 right. You know, so it's it's really like a vortex, mm -hmm. and the Lord is controlling, right? Pursuant to Proverbs twenty one and one, yep. the minds of these different kings, yep. getting them ready for that war. That's right. And by the time uh, Iran joins this war, pursuant to the Second Ezra fifteen, as it says, they're going to join in raging in wrath. Right. The right. Carmanians, they're right. going to join in raging right. in wrath right. and shall waste a portion of the land of Assyria. That's right. So they're gonna. By the time they join this war, it's gonna be. They're gonna be. Yeah, they're gonna be super provoked. There'll be no stopping them. Yep. You know that's why it's taking. It's taking some time for them to actually get into it. You know, but once they do, there's no one stopping them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we, we foresee a couple of things happening before that time. Right, of right. course, you know, you got the MOTB, right? Ultimately, we are already, you know, in Jacob's trouble, but it's only going to intensify. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got civil war on the on the, on the horizon. You know, a lot of racial outbursts and racial tones that's being set all across the world, mm -hmm. right? So it's 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 going it's going to escalate into something greater, ultimately ending in America's thermonuclear destruction. Yep. All right. So let's read a little bit about this article here. It says, uh, the U.S. and U.K. launched air and missile strikes in Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen. Okay. Now it always starts with one, and then it blows up into something else. Yep. All right. Just like their their so-called um, laws. All right, it's always, oh, we, we, we're just trying to do this. And the next thing you know, it becomes a controlled thing. Mm -hmm. you know? just, they take one step. They one just need step one step at a time. Yep. It says, aimed at halting attacks on ships in the Red Sea. Huh, right? Washington and London announced overnight. Which also, um, the <laughs> this is this is causing uh, trouble on so many fronts because they, if you look at a map on how much more money uh, or how how much higher prices of things are gonna go? Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a lot because these these ships are gonna be able to carry less things. They're gonna have to pay more because they have to now instead of going through the uh, the Red Sea, right. they gotta go all the way across the Horn of Africa because they don't wanna uh, jeopardize their their, their, their whatever goods. yeah their yeah. goods, and that's gonna they're gonna increase prices and that's gonna reflect on on the world. Yep. The world so economy's gonna suffer. yeah. So right now, that Red Sea is becoming a, is become a danger zone, mm -hmm. and so the longer that happens, the more expensive goods become. Of course. At the same time, it's, it, we are at that time where the scriptures say there's a time for peace and a time of war. That's right. So this is all according to biblical prophecy, literally right right in in in, in line, in you know, right in, in order. Yep, yep. And what else is right in order is the fact that, as it says, First Thessalonians five and three, right. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. A lot of these people, while this is happening, they're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. They don't even have a clue what this means. They don't know that this is even happening. Yeah. Because <laughs> in the MSM, they don't really push it. Hell no. You know? No. 
So these people are blinded, unprepared, and when when something hits this place, they're gonna be completely through. Of course, and it's happening quickly. Yeah, you know. So it says, um, Joe Biden, <laughs> barely there, Biden. It says that the U.S. <laughs> president said American and British forces with support from Australia. See, now you you noticing the the the, the teams the, the the teams coming together. Yep. And it's, it's, it's funny how UK and the US are back in the news again, just like they did back in World War II. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was through uh, the US that uh, um, the UK and, and, and their allies defeated Germany. Okay, so the same thing is coming up again. And guess what? These countries haven't forgotten that. All right. right. Japan, they ain't forgot. So they're all going to they're gonna line up against the US, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So continue, <laughs> it says, um, said American and British forces with support from Australia, uh, Bahrain, Canada, and the Netherlands, were involved in the attack, striking at least 60 targets in 16, 16 locations around Yemen. Now keep in mind, <laughs> when they when they did the strikes yesterday, mm -hmm. Yemen, the Yemen Yemen uh, Houthi rebels said they're going to respond imminently. Yep. Right. This yep. is not going to go unpunished. Mm -hmm. And then today they did another one. Mm -hmm. So they're letting it be known that yeah, we don't give a damn. Yeah, you know, we we, we really care. we know really going for this. Right. right. It says Biden said these strikes are in direct response to unprecedented Houthi attacks against international maritime vessels in the Red Sea. Well, it's it's provoked, mm -hmm. right? These things don't happen by accident. It's 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 almost convenient that this is what you devils want and then it's happening. Mm -hmm. Right? So so we know what's going on. It says, um, Including the use of anti anti ship ballistic missiles for the first time in history. Mm. What does that mean? All right, that means that there's a lot of things that's about to happen for the first time in history. Right. If it's starting off this way, it's going to end off this way. Beginning of the year. Beginning of the year. Right. It says these attacks have endangered U.S. personnel, civilian mariners, and out and our partners jeopardize trade and threaten freedom of navigation. Well, what were we doing there in the first place? There you go. <laughs> right. So it's all provoked. It says, U.S. Central Command said the airstrikes, which took place around 3 a.m. in Yemen, targeted radar systems, air defense systems, and storage, and launch sites for one-way attack unmanned aerial systems, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. Mm -hmm. So, again, the missile talk is cut. This is all the Lord staring up the pot. Mm -hmm. Okay? He said, what? Well, he's going to what? Um, uh, bring the nations, gather the nations. Oh, yeah. Let's get that the, real quick. In the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh, real quick, let's get um, Joel 3, Joel, wake up the mighty man, and yep, then we can, yep, yep, we can yep, wrap yep. it on that. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 9. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Which the mighty men are the, 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 the military. The That's what is going right. on now. Mm -hmm. That's right. It says, Let all the men of war draw near. Draw near where? To the mm -hmm. valley of Jehoshaphat, which is in the Middle East. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let them come up. Mm -hmm. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. And that's what you see going on. That's right. They're, they're getting their military arsenals ready. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let the weak say, I am strong. Mm -hmm. So now you may look at a, a, um, somebody like the Houthis and say, compared to the U.S., they're, they're, they're nothing. Right. But when you look at the energy they're coming with, they're not, they're not, they're not afraid. They're not backing down either. Yeah. Because the Spirit of the Lord is on them to do these things. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Mm hmm Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Yeah, so the, the Lord is going to have these nations gather over there. Mm -hmm. The mighty ones are the angels. Right. Okay, but he's going to cause these nations to gather over there so that what? That that judgment could come upon them. That's right. They're going to destroy each other and then Yahweh Shah is going to come and, 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 and wipe it all out. Yeah, up. complete the whole, the whole joint. That's it. You it know? says verse 12 and this is it. Mm -hmm. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, mm -hmm. which is what? Yahweh Shaphat, the mm -hmm. Most High's judgment. Yep. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. There you go. There you so go. this is getting ready for the Lord to bring that judgment upon the earth. And that's, that's right. a beautiful thing. That's right. You know, that's so. Right. So we just wanted to bring that out real quick. That's it. You know, we're going to end it off there. Lord willing, you're edified and informed, especially in these last days. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep up the faith, man. And stay stay prayed up because anything could happen that could kick into that 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 heavy, heavy uh, Jacob's trouble with that MOTB, man. Come on. All right. So let's pay attention. Let's keep watching what's going on over there because it's all prophecy. All right. So with that, we're going to close it out. Lord willing, you were edified. Shalom. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabrak, Shalom. Shalom.